A lot has happened in 2019 with several African countries holding elections. And as we begin the new year, the continent has a lot to look forward to in 2020. A number of countries will be holding important elections. CGTN's Asta Tal breaks down some of the polls taking place. 2020, it's the start of a new decade. And for these African countries, it's also an election year. Tanzania will hold its general elections in October. President John Magufuli is widely expected to secure a second term. Togo's February presidential election will see Fuade Gassimbe seek a fourth term. In 2017, citizens took to the streets calling for Gassimbe to step down. They wanted him to respect the two-term limit set in the 1992 constitution. Gassimbe, in turn, offered to adhere to the limits starting in 2018. The opposition objected, but the parliament amended the constitution, allowing him to potentially rule until 2030. Meanwhile, Burundi's president, Pierre Nkurunziza, says he won't run in the upcoming May general elections. His 2015 decision to seek a third term was met by violent protest. Security forces have since been accused of committing human rights violations. The Burundian government, however, denies the claims. Ethiopia will also hold its general elections in May. They will test the popularity of Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's reforms. His reforms include ending tensions with Eritrea, releasing political prisoners, and other sweeping measures. But the country continues to deal with intercommunal conflict. Let's head to West Africa, where Cote d'Ivoire's general elections will test the country's stability. A lot of questions remain. Among them, will President Alassane Ouattara seek a third term? Ouattara has said he wants his generation to step aside, making room for younger, fresher faces. But he stated if any of his predecessors joined the presidential race, he will too. His predecessors include Laurent Gbagbo. The International Criminal Court acquitted the former president of crimes against humanity. Despite his absence, Gbagbo remains an influential figure in Ivorian politics. His possible return could shape the October general elections. Burkina Bay President Rochma Christian Caboret has spent his first term dealing with instability caused by militant attacks. Burkina Faso's second post-insurgency polls will take place in November. Citizens will choose their next president as well as members of the National Assembly. We wrap things up with Ghana where President Nana Akufo Addo heads for round two against John Mahama. The former President Mahama lost to Akufo Addo in 2016. They'll face off in the December general elections. Well, that's a brief overview of the elections taking place in Africa. A lot of unknowns remain, but one thing is certain. My colleagues and I will be here to give you the latest developments. For now, I'm Asta Tal with CGTN.